What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more The Walking Dead Season 4. Episode 12 is here today. A lot of you guys, I put out a poll yesterday asking you guys, should I skip the review if this will incite you more? Not, not skip the review, but skip the intros that I do and then the break. Um, and then you just go, you could just come on the video, click on the link and then come back and watch a review. If that would incite you guys more to come back and watch a review and you guys emphatically destroyed that vote and <laughs> be like, no, keep it as is, um, like the intro, you like the intro. Okay. No problem. I have no problem sticking to what I have to do, um, right now. I'm just trying anything that I can to help you guys to come back and watch reviews and to get watch time up on the channel, whatever I can do to help. But you guys emphatically said, hell no, keep it the same as it is. So, um, in the, in the last episode, episode 11 that we've seen, we got to see Glenn, you know, um, emphatically you know determined to go and get his wife back miss maggie so fighting with these new people that he has met you know and now they end up having to walk and you know because dude just shot up the truck because <laughs> they got attacked by the walkers or biters whatever you want to call them as Rain just decided to start falling outside. I didn't want that right now. Oh, man, why, why today? Why right now? But anyways, um, yeah, let's continue. Um, so Rick, Carl, and Michonne ended up you know, having to escape from the house they were trying to stay in for a little bit. They had to leave because these other guys came in. Um, great scene there with Rick um, trying to get out of the house. Had to kill a guy to get out. Uh, it, was pretty, it was pretty intense. It was pretty intense. Did we get an update? No, we did not see Daryl. Um, them. We did not see Daryl. So... Rick and Carl still don't know that little ass kicker is, is still alive. So that's going to be a great reunion to see. They're heading towards this sanctuary. Um, I'm hopefully that's where everybody's going to end up seeing each other again. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But in any case uh, or, or whatever they decide to do going forward, I'm with it because I'm enjoying this season. It's not as good as as previous seasons in my opinion but this is still a good season nonetheless i mean we're 12 episodes in and we're kind of seeing the the, the breaking down of them leaving the prison and getting to a new place they're all pretty much all split split up right now so i'm looking forward to see certain people of course especially my girl carol i've literally fallen in love with her character because she is such a real she her character arc is one of the best in the series i would say because carol coming from an abusive relationship and seeing that with the contrast of everything that's going on around her she was still in this abusive relationship and now from her being a real like scared and very fearful person into this badass type of woman you know what i'm saying like i love that so um, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of her, of course. So without no further ado, let's jump into these reactions and I will see you guys right back here for the review. Okay, so not much to review here in this episode. Just want to expound on what we just saw just a bit. Um, with Daryl and Beth, like Daryl finally like having an outburst from all the quietness that we've experienced since the last couple of times we saw him where he kind of shut down and we got to see like a very human side of him. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
where he kind of he blames himself for what happened. Like if he had reacted quicker, maybe things would have been better, you know, because he's like, man, they just walked. But they just basically walked right in, which is very true, which is, is very true, you know. But at the same time, you got to understand that Rick chose to do what he did. You can't blame yourself for him trying to negotiate with this guy. You know what I'm saying? But the governor just didn't want to. He didn't want to negotiate. He didn't want any part of what's going on. So in in any case, when you when you really look at it, this is an, an issue that, you know what I'm saying, with the hero complex, whereas in you, you just feel like you could have done something better. And there's nothing wrong with reflecting and thinking about it and saying, you know, maybe if I did this, but at the same time, you cannot place blame on yourself for what took place. You can look back and learn from things in the past, but you can't look back and be like, oh my God, it was my fault. No, you cannot be like that. You can admit fault if it is your fault. It's just like how with me, with certain things that have happened to me in the past where I had to learn from it, you know what I'm saying? I used to play the blame game initially when these things happened to me, but after the fact, I started to really realize that it was my fault. So I just accepted responsibility and moved on from it because I'm in a way better place in my life. I'm in a better place. I have better people around me. All of these little things that happen to me over the course of life. So I'm glad to see them move on. Beth had the, the, the better um you know, thinking the thing that she's still a teenager and thinks like that, you wish you could find teenagers that actually think like this today is very hard to. And, and I mean, she had to grow up fast, no doubt, because of cir the circumstances um, of the world she's living in now. But at the same time, you know, it's very hard, like from from my perspective. And I'm talking about 17, 18, 19 year olds you look at them and you're like, you don't look like you're going to succeed in life. Like that's how they act. You get what I'm saying? Even though there's so much opportunity out there today for teenagers to be even to the point of millionaires at the, you know, in those years as an ad adolescent. So it's like, it's crazy to think and see who Beth has become. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm glad that she's growing up very fast and she kind of understands certain things. And yes, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? I know that when she held that bottle, she was thinking about her dad. That's why she started crying. Um, no, they didn't explicitly say that. But in that moment, that's how you use a visual to portray something. You don't she don't have to say it. Dal don't have to say it. You know that that's what she's thinking about because she knows the battles that her dad went through with alcohol. You know what I'm saying? So if she knew that, you know, the minute you see alcohol or, or, or you're thinking about drinking it, you're going to be thinking about your dad. You know what I mean? And now that he's he's dead, he's passed on, you know, that can be very um, traumatic in a certain way. But at the same time, I'm glad that she's moved past it, helped Daryl to kind of bring out a certain thing that he want, he needed to talk about but wasn't talking about, which is not good to, I, I know it's tough in the time, the, 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 the apocalyptic time that they're living in, you get what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's, you have to talk. You have to get all of that anger out. You have to have someone to talk to. You have to have some, can't keep that stuff all inside. You have someone to talk to, hey, talk to them. You know what I'm saying? totally understand even if even if there's nobody there talk to your damn self that stuff needs to get out you know what i'm saying like i always tell people because people tend to like with with me i t you know what i'm saying i talk to myself sometimes not necessarily like you know like an insane person or anything like that but i do have conversations out loud the problem that i always tell people is this is that if you hear me start answering myself then you can start worrying. But as long as you, you know, I'll just be like trying to reason out things.
but I'll be talking, you know what I'm saying? I'll just be talking, but I'll be talking mm -hmm. out loud. You know what I mean? So it happens. And I, and there's multiple people that do this. It's not just me. I'm pretty sure that millions or even billions of people do this. Um, you know, you think out loud about things, not even recognizing that people are in the vicinity hearing you, you know, so it happens. Sometimes you, you just reasoning stuff. You just, you're talking out loud, you know, but you're not talking to anybody specific. So it happens. So it is good sometimes to do that. But anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. Um, you guys keep supporting these videos, man. Eventually, these videos are going to blow up. I know I don't have the most creative reactions out there, but at least you guys like it. So I appreciate that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to comment. Also, leave a like and also subscribe if you're new. As always, man, it's your boy, Terrible React, and I will see you guys later.